Hello guys, welcome to Linux command tutorial for Python developers. In this tutorial, you are going to learn a lot of uh, Linux basic commands. Uh, so these are the overview of the Linux system basic commands related in absolute paths, redirect, pen, and pip permission, how you can give file permission and process management and install uh, different softwares or Linux system and different text seed results as well. And uh, so the overview of Linux system is about kernel and chain. We can, when you think about the Linux system, we always think about the, the two basic uh, systems that Linux has, kernel and shell. So the Linux uh, is an operating system in general, like Windows operating system, Mac operating system, or any other operating system. So Linux system is described as kernel and uh, shell. The kernel is a main program of Linux system. It controls hardware, CPU, memory, hard disk, network card, etc. All the hardware systems or your computer system is controlled by the kernel. And the shell is the outer uh, user interface of the kernel. So as you can see this circular uh, diagram, uh, system is kernel. So it, it can control the whole hardware systems of your computer system. And uh, above the kernel, there is a shell. There is a shell and outside of the, uh, this circular uh, is user. The user can interact with the uh, system, Linux system that, that is, uh, the shell and the kernel. So the shell is an interface between the user and the kernel. So shell interprets your input as commands and pass them to the kernel. So when you, the user in, uh, input, when, when you enter uh, any input, then that shell going to interpret your input as commands and uh, pass to the kernel. So because uh, Linux uh, system can understand everything as a, a, a command build. So, uh, uh, it, so this shell uh, interface shell uh, is, the use of shell is uh, to interpret your input as commands and then trans, uh, just pass uh, the commands, the user input, uh, that's uh, interpreted as commands to kernel. Then the kernel going to process uh, because of the kernel means the main program of uh, the Linux system and that can control your uh, hardware systems. So this is the layouts of Linux system in general. Linux uh, system uh, can support multi-user or multi-processes uh, than Windows. Many people can use one machine at the same time. It can be uh, distributed. It can be uh, uh, used as a server uh, as well as a client at the same time. So uh, multiple user or many uh, user can access a Linux, a single Linux machine at the same time. That is what the advantage of Linux system. And in the file and the process, uh, a data directory, process, hard disk, etc. Almost everything are expressed as a file. Uh, one thing uh, that you keep in mind is that when, when you plug in uh, virus, uh, the files which is affected by virus on Linux system, is it going to be understand or expressed as a file? That means if that virus is converted or uh, uh, understand by Linux system as a file, that cannot be uh, distributed or duplicated itself. Virus by itself, it can just uh, duplicate uh, uh, automatically when, when, when it is connected to any, uh, uh, computer system. But when, when you connect to the Linux machine, it automatically uh, died. Because of that Linux kernel can understand that 
phi uh, virus uh, as a file a file cannot be uh, duplicated itself that is the main advantage of linux system and uh, the process is an running program identified by a unique id uh, when you run uh, a program on your uh, linux machine that's uh, a single uh, uh, running program is identified by unique id every process which is running on a linux machine is identified by process id or that uh, identifies unique id you can uh, uh, kill that uh, running program by using command based on that uh, unique id so one id for one process okay the other is uh, directory structure files are put in a directory in linux all directories are in hierarchical structure like tree structure user can put and remove any directories on the tree uh, which is uh, the, from the directories and uh, the top of the directory is uh, a forward slash like forward slash which is a slash called a root root that is the top of the directory and users have the, the own directory like home directory every user when 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 you log into the linux system you will uh, find the home directory so every user have their own home directory, home directory. Uh, so this is uh, the Linux uh, directory structure. The top of the directory is root directory that is represented as line, uh, slash. And under this root directory, there are a lot of uh, directories uh, being, uh, let me show you, for example, I am using, uh, Kali Linux system. Uh, I don't use uh, Windows at all. So uh, when you go to the file system, uh, the file system is look like this. The top directory is this one, root directory. That is represented as a slash. That is a root directory. Uh, under the root directory, because of a directory in Linux uh, are structured like tree structure, there is a root, the child, parent, like that. Uh, bin is found like this, this one. Uh, boot, dev, for development, uh, etc. All configuration files going to be stored or keep in the etc. Home, home directory is the working directory of every user have. Library, uh, libraries, uh, lib32, lib64 identified the uh, architecture of the system, 32 or 64 bit. Uh, media, uh, MNT, opti, roots. roots. When you see this, you can't modify all the things inside the root. It's uh, like X symbol. Run, sbin, uh, snap, user variable if you wanted to uh, develop a web application like using uh, php css html you can put the directories uh, all the files in the var that is www worldly directory is found inside this so you can keep all the file and you can access on the web browser uh, so this is the structure of the linux system uh, the important directories of Linux systems uh, are the bin. Uh, as you can see here, the bin uh, is the bin contains uh, contains files that are that are essential for uh, correct operation of the system. Those are available for user by all users. So uh, every user can uh, access this, uh, that is the bin. And amenity, uh, that is uh, this one. Uh, this also provides location for mounting devices such as remote file systems and removable uh, devices like uh, flash disk, flash devices, which is kept in this. 
and provides a location. This is a location for uh, mounted de uh, devices like flash disk, etc. And the home is, uh, this is the, your, for example, in this case, I have two users, uh, one user, no, and no, two users in the home directory. Currently, I am logged as uh, no, and uh, you can also log in uh, in the another users in the same machine. Uh, so this is where user uh, home directories are stored. Var, this directory is used to store files which change frequently and must be available to be written to. This is a temporary file. Uh, frequent uh, files are stored in the var variable, uh, like uh, a lot of files, and also worldwide or www is also located in this var, and you can keep your web applications, PHP based web applications in this directory and you can develop your application. Uh, the other is uh, etc. etc various system configuration files are stored here. etc is very important. Every uh, system configurations are kept in this file. And this uh, etc, etc, uh, you see. Uh, when you need to, for example, Apache web server is, uh, Apache web server configuration is also here. Uh, so very uh, important system configurations are kept in this uh, uh, directory, in this directory. Uh, other most important uh, is dev. This contains various devices such as hard disk, CD-ROM, etc. like uh, uh, system-based uh, hardware devices in the device or this one. Uh, root, this is the root or the administrator user's home directory. Uh, because as, as, as I said earlier, there are two users, the super user and uh, uh, normal user. So the, the root user is the administrator of the user, uh, the system. So there may be a lot of uh, users uh, uh, that they access the same system and the root user can administer the whole users. So this is the root administrator users home directory. You can uh, find root uh, directory. And the other is, temporary files, temporary files uh, going to be kept in the temp, temp uh, directory. The uh, SBIN means a binary, which are only expected to be used by the super user, the root user. Super user means uh, the root uh, user, he or she can uh, administer the system or normal users. So this SBN is a binaries which can be administered or managed by the root user or super user. Uh, and uh, user contains user documentation, games, graphical li files, libraries, et cetera, uh, like user, graphical, for example, games. Actually, there is no game in my Linux system. Uh, other li libraries are there. So those are uh, very useful file structures in Linux system. Uh, Linux, uh, there are two users in Linux, normal user and super user. In Linux system, there is one super special user for administering uh, the system, which can do anything. Uh, the super user has a permission to do uh, delete updates or uh, modify anything. But the normal user uh, has no uh, permission without uh, giving given a permission by super user. So this special user is called root or super user. And the other is uh, case sensitivity. Linux like Unix is a case sensitive. Actually the Linux commands are Unix command. Uh, that is based on Unix command. And for example, my file.doc 
my file dot doc my file dot doc are different Online manuals are available for Linux systems. You can uh, learn more about the, how to use Linux system. So this is the, an overview of Linux system. Uh, okay, thanks for.